Laos continues to make significant progress in its effort to accurately identify areas of unexploded ordnance or UXO contamination and then prioritize the clearance of these dangerous items. The grant of 537,000 US dollars or over 4.3 billion kip is the first one that the Mines Advisory Group or MAG has received from the Norwegian Ministry of Foreign Affairs to help with their work of surveying and clearing in the country. Sally, Deputy Director of Country Director of MAG in Laos, Simon Ria, said that they will be partnering with Norwegian People Aid to undertake survey and clearance operation in 30 villages in the northern part of Boropa district, Kamun province. This will result in significant amounts of important survey work being carried out in one of the most heavily UXO contaminated districts in the country. It will also ensure UXO contamination is clear from law government priority development sites within focal development areas. One more important achievement is that the information gathered as part of the project's implementation will enable MAG and Norwegian People Aid to develop an accurate estimation of the time and resources that will be required to reach an end an state on Buropa district. Sadly, 40 years after the end of conflict, the negative impacts of UXO contamination are still very prevalent in Laos. All too often, the most vulnerable members of poor rural communities, including children, are involved in UXO accidents. Families are kept in poverty and food insecurity because they cannot make full productive use of their land. Large-scale development projects, including construction of vital infrastructure, cannot take place. Around the middle of this year, the governments of the United States of America and the United Kingdom also funded survey and UXO clearance operation in Sing Kong province at a cost of more than 3.8 million US dollars or over 30 billion kip. The funding supported two projects run by the Mines Advisory Group. According to the National Regulatory Authority, as of last year, more than 55,000 hectares of land had been cleared of UXO since 1996. Up to 37% of the country's total land area, about 87,000 square kilometers, may be contaminated with various types of UXO.